evening and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. Tonight I am, or today, whenever you're watching this, but it is a little after, well, now it fits off, so it's like 10, 15. Um, so I have a couple of pages to share. Um, i am only done two pages today because I was out for a while, but I'm going to put one more page together with the leftovers from what I was building this is one of the pages that I built today and um so I thought that I could do that with you all because it's going to be pretty um simple and I'm going to try my best not to talk so much so that this is a long video I'll take my bracelet off my charm bracelet that I got from scrapbookingwithannemarie.com if you're a paid member every 30 pages she sends you these super cute charms and so Anyway, I have to wear that, but I can't do it while I'm scrapbooking, especially when I am doing it on a video. So, this is what I'm going to work with. My goal is to use up all or most of the items in this pile. So, here are my two pictures. This is Mother's Day 2021, and this was our meal, and this was our dessert. And there's my little present in the background. And here's my present for my daughter. Um, so that wasn't intentional. It just happened. I got a little water on my picture. But I think it'll be fine by the time I'm ready to go. Um, I mean, it's food. I'm not terribly worried about being a little funny looking. However, and it was just like a little dot. Um, my water cup, which is usually safe and secure. When I move my mat to get prepared <laughs> for this video, I hit the water and it went bloop so all right so there's my two pictures i have and this got a little watered up too so if it doesn't dry before it's time to use it i will not put it on here but i think it'll be fine um i have this tag i'm gonna use um one that came from the same set is on the matching page to this so i'm gonna use that these are little flowers that were insides of some other flowers that i cut out I don't know, months, years ago, who knows. So I thought I might be able might be able to incorporate those. These are the Cayenne's Company um, stickers that I have been using on the 2021 Mother's Day layout. I use this one on a page, this one and these on a page. So I believe I'm going to incorporate this with love on this page. So there will still be some of that left. Uh, the only reason I have this over here really is I put these little half flowers on this sheet. So um, from one of the previous pages and I think I'll try and use those on this page. But I also may use um, one of these frames or borders. Um, then these are some of the flower stickers that I used on a, the matching page. And I'm going to use some of them. I'm not going to use them all. But I am going to use some of them. And so I just pulled the ones that I hadn't gotten completely used up and put them in this pile. So that I would have the options and the different um, colors and styles of flower. So I wasn't exactly sure what I'm going to do. But these are the leftovers from the page that I created. And ha they have at least one or multiple from these sticker sets. So it won't be these borders, and it probably won't be these. I most likely won't use this. I used these four flowers um, on the previous layout. So you'll see that before the video is over. All right, so here's all my stickers. This is just a little greenery that I cut off of something else I used. Set those over here, and then these are the papers that I used for the facing the mat the page that we'll be facing this was on a the fate one before that so there's the we've got purples and greens and all of these papers that i'm using or at least these three right here all came from let's see if i can get it down without it falling nana's nursery baby boy by dcwv um let's see so, um, I've had this 
since 2009 when my son was born. My sister gave this to me for Christmas that year, actually 2008. I still have quite a bit left because it really didn't scream baby boy to me. Um, I mean, this is cute and I may actually use this when I get to Disney. Um, I may use some of that for our Kilimanjaro Safari because that's got the animals on it. But I've just really been using these for other things. I did not use a lot of this in my son's baby book. And he is 12. Um, okay. Let me put this back up here. And we'll move on. So all three of these came from that. These are um, these stickers that if you've been watching my videos, I am working on getting rid of my stash. So I have three sheets of these sticky swatch too. Um, squares, circles, strips, borders, um, just different and rectangles um, and different shades of purple, pink, and green. And like this is a little brownie to me. So I'm going to use some of these if I can because my goal for 2021 is to use all of these. Um, I have a bunch of things that I really am wanting to use up this year. Um, some of them that I've pulled out right here I've had this pack since 2003 or 2004 maybe I don't even know um and I forget it I have it so anyway these are not part of my layout although if I think of something to pull from here I will definitely do that so this is what I'm working with so let's get started I am going to use these um probably as strips and matting and I'm going to add these for my embellishments. I'll just set those aside and I'll set my pictures aside so that one little dot on there can dry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's the life that I lead, guys. I have one other flower that I might incorporate if that dries, but it got a couple of polka dots of water on it, too. But my mat is nice and dry now, so I can work on that. Now, the only thing I forgot to do is grab a piece of hard of cardstock. And I am going to... Oh, I got a desk chair. It keeps popping up on me. I'm going to use this. So there's no pink in my background in my matting paper, but I want to incorporate some pink a little bit. So I'm going to use this and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. It is some texture paper that came from a hot buy craft something or another from Michael, um, from Michael's. All right. So I do not like these bunnies. I'm really have this just for the floral and it's got the green and the purple from this page and one of the other pages I worked on. So I am going to, <laughs> I moved everything when I spilled the water and so I don't know where anything is. I'm gonna mat this on this purple paper and I will cover all the bunnies up. And if any of them show in the area, then I will just make sure that if you can tell that it is a bunny, I will cover it with a sticker or something. Because I gotta use the paper out. I'm not going to just let it sit in my stash forever. That's what I've been doing is just letting it sit because I thought, oh, I'm never going to be able to use this. This is not really baby paper. And but This is strawberry shortcakes. And these were delicious. All right. So lay this down like that with a little bit of a border. Okay, and then I think I decided I was going to put the other one on the polka dots because it wasn't going to fit right on here. Yeah, so I'm going to put this. I don't want to trim these pictures. See, there's a little whiteness. It'll be fine. That's not going into a book anytime soon, so it'll dry completely. I'll put it down in front of my little blower down by my... I got a little spot where I put my stuff. Um, like if it, I'm working with something and it'll dry it like the stickles. I was working with stickles yesterday and I needed it to dry quicker because, well, I'm impatient. And so I set it up to where it would blow gently on my paper and it dried just fabulously. All right, so this is not going to fit this way. So I'm going to do it this way. 
I want a similar border, but I'm not measuring. I really just base it off of like the circles. I know, I think I was just working off of the camera, sorry. I'm really bad about that. Okay, I'm just trimming these down now. With my handy dandy creative memories trimmer. I do love my trimmer. Um, it definitely is um, a necessary component in scrapbooking, being able to trim my papers. I've seen a lot of people use like the um, guillotine ones, and I wonder if those are better, like a smoother and if you don't have to change like mats and blades as much like <clears throat> okay there's that one let me trim this back with a broad here okay. let's see anyway what I was saying is I just wonder if the guillotine kind of paper trimmer is a better option only because I have a guillotine style creative memories picture trimmer. I guess it's called a personal trimmer is what I think the official title is, but I use it to trim my pictures and I believe um, that's what it's intended for because they do say that these paper trimmers are not meant to be um, used on pictures or it would narrow it would rub your blade down so I have this creative memories um, personal trimmer I don't know if it actually says that on here no it just says creative memories anyway I have had this since 1996 I have never changed the blade I have never done anything to this other than cut my pictures trim pictures and occasionally I'll take some uh, aluminum foil and cut it to sharpen it a little but that's super occasionally um it has a little drawer I used to keep some extra pictures in there like my duplicates it works amazingly I love this and I love this which is also creative memories and I use this and this is also is this mine yeah this is also from 1996 and they work, same with this, I use a little foil in there. I'm not a creative memory salesperson, but I just wonder if I got a guillotine style trimmer, if that would work better for me and I wouldn't have to pay, you know, $10 for new cutting mats and, um, you know, however much it is for a new blade, however often that needs to happen. So, I don't know, I just, I just think about that and I'm trying to decide I mean I just got this this year and like I said I do love it but I got it in I don't remember if I got it in January or if I got it in it might have been it was either late December or early January I'd say it was early January I can go back because I document all that stuff which is super silly but I do um, but anyway, I would just like to know, I mean, I've already had to change my blades out once and, um, I've had, um, no, I haven't changed my blades. Sorry. I have not changed my blades. Sorry. I cannot <laughs> try to talk at the same time as trimming. Um, I have had to change the mat. And I did the whole switch around because you know I don't know I don't know how much you know about this the trimmer the Creative Memories trimmer, but I have the mat on here. Um, hold on, I'll show you. Get these papers trimmed up. Okay. This right here has to be flipped around. So after you, it starts getting this bumpiness on it. You flip it around so that you're starting to cut on this one. And then you flip it around and you do it twice on here. So I have already been through one entire one of these. And now I'm on my second of four sides on the new, on this one. 
and I just got it, I think, in January. I was saving Christmas money up to buy one for myself, but then I kept them high because they were $50, and I didn't want to spend that much money. So, I don't know. Anyway, all right. You all are not here for that kind of thing. Okay, so I know that I said I'm not using this bunny paper because I don't want the bunnies, but I will cover them up with flowers somehow. If they're not covered by a picture or a mat, I'll cover them up with flowers. Sorry, there's a little, like, uh stuff at the end of the page from where I pulled this out of that book. Okay. Alright. Phew. Alright, I'm going to put that there. Leave this here. And this here is making sure there wasn't a right or wrong way with these, like the flowers or not. Okay. Put these like this. And then, because this is dessert, I'm going to put it down here like this. Nope, nope, nope. Stop, stop. Stop. Hold the presses. Hold the presses. There we go. Just got to get my head in the right place here. It doesn't look even. Alright, now, since this is dessert, I'm going to put it down here. And this is our meal, and because it's a round plate, I could put it any way I want, but I think I want to put it like this. Okay, so now all I gotta do is make sure that I cover these little bunny rabbits with something, because um, there's no bunny rabbits on this page. It's not Easter, and I know bunny rabbits could be any time, but... If you heard that, that is my husband with a sinus infection downstairs in his bed. <laughs> but the vents from his room come up to my craft room. And so. Alright. see if I can get this done quickly. Because I would love to show you all how easy it can be to make a mat. To use up, I mean to make a layout. To use up your stash. And, I mean, end up with a great layout in the end. And I just, I mean, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to, um, I don't know. I mean, there's just so many different ways that you can scrapbook. And I think that I get myself psyched out. I've had some, um, uh, scrap blocking, like scrap, what's it called, writer's block, scrapper's block, and, oh, no, 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 there we go, I've had some scrapper's block over the last few weeks especially, and I think it's because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of a couple of different people, one in particular who makes the most amazing pages. She's part of why I have become so um, more, much more adventurous. She does a lot with like, mixed media. I'm, I'm really not um, ready for that yet because one, it's expensive and I cannot um, yet put that kind of money into it because everything else you have to get for scrapbooking is also expensive. My, mind you, I am eyeballing here. I do not measure much. Uh, okay. Okay. So, um, anyway, so I've been watching her a lot. And, like, she just does these great pages. And then I start looking at my page and I'm like, this isn't very exciting. Like, this doesn't have any oomph on it. And then I, you know, get disheartened because I'm not this fancy fabulous person who, you know, is able to buy all these fancy dyes and glitters and that kind of thing. And I just then I think to myself, well, that's just silly, Chris. That's why, why in the world does it matter? So, anywho, I, I just have to get out of my head. And I think that that's a lot of people that just have to get out of their own heads and scrap how you want to scrap, how, scrap what you want to scrap. Um, I have a plate of 
scallops and asparagus and a baked potato and a roll in front of you and a strawberry um, shortcake. It's not beautiful. It's not necessarily the best picture in the world. And I'm putting it on an entire page. Like, it's not just a side view, you know, or a lot, uh, one of those, you know, kind of things where you make a page about something and you just add the meal or something like that. This is my whole page, is this food that we had. So, you know, you have to do what you want to do. And this is what I want to do. I wanted to make this four pages when I knew that it was not going to... One page has one picture on it. And I'm okay with that because I, I love um, how they all turned out. And if I end up with 75... Um, pay, you know, books that could have been done in, you know, 25 books, then I don't care. I'll find somewhere to put them. <laughs> so, okay. So here is the base. I am going to uh, loosely set down the tag that I can't find because I don't know what I've just done with it. Mm -hmm. So that I know where I want to put it. It's over here buried under all this stuff, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is what I do. I also bury my tape. Do y'all bury your tape? Okay. So. I think I want my tag over here. In this empty space. Because I'm going to be putting a lot of the florals up there to cover up the bunny rabbit. Um, okay. So, we brought in the pink with the paper plus with this. So, that flower was lovely right there. And, uh, let's see. I am trying to use up an entire sheet of something. And let me tell you, I am so excited to say that I have once again... If you watched my video yesterday, you understand. I've once again um, knocked out some more papers or more stickers. And it makes me super happy. So. And let's see. One more little flower to cover that little nose that's sticking up. And you might not really notice what that is. But I know and so I don't want it there. So I gotta find a sticker that's gonna cover that and not show through because sometimes these stickers will are like kind of see through. And this is the perfect one. I can actually tuck this in the picture a little so it's not standing out too much. And then I have another one just like it, and so we'll just make it look intentional instead of like we're covering something up. Alright. Two more stickers off of that sheet down. Okay. So. I am. Move this stuff out of the way. I have so much stuff. It's so silly. And then I'm trying to move it around. And I'm throwing stuff places. Okay. So I do really want to try and use these. But this color doesn't really go with what we're doing. But this is good, and this is good. So I will cut this. I will get my handy dandy Zig memory system pen and my tweezers, which is another thing that I can never find on my desk. I try and put it back every time I use it. Does it always happen? Nope, but I certainly try. All right, so I'm going to turn this this way. I'm going to stick this right here. And then I'm going to take, where's the other piece? Right here. See? Give me that. <laughs> oh, brother. This is... I mean, 
you all probably think oh, she's just being silly for the for these videos no mm -mm, no no i am absolutely this nutty in real life okay so now i'm going to do the same with the smaller one And I'm not too concerned with it, like, matching up, like, where the humps and the flower are and stuff. I just want that little extra something so it's not just this random, loose little something in the middle. So see how cute that is? And you would never know that it was one cut in half unless you watched this video. Okay, so I am going to... See if I can get this off of here because I decided I don't want it to come over on the pink. So, yep, and cut this just like that, and then I'll line it up a little bit right here, right on the top, so it still covers the bunny, but it's not coming off of that. I'm going to do the same with that pink right there, but let me trim this off the side. Then I'll put this here. Because that looks like that's just continuing on to the other side of that. And I've got a flower stuck to my finger. I just keep putting them down on this piece of paper right here because I can totally use these pieces on other pages and I understand that it's kind of crazy and that I should probably just pitch them but if they stay on that paper and they aren't in my way then there's no reason to get rid of them because I could totally use them later just to keep you know I don't like being wasteful I do not all right now I do not want to inundate this with flowers one there's already flowers here and here. And two, when you see the next um, page, you will understand why I don't want to inundate it with a bunch of flowers. Because, well, it has a couple of flowers on it already. So, I am going to use this makeshift foam square that I keep using because I keep forgetting to get foam out before I start the video. And this is the foam dots I was showing them before. There, it's a page of foam dots. They're supposed to come out and um, they don't. <laughs> and so I just cut the paper and use it as a big rectangle instead of um, the circles that it's supposed to be. Oh, shoot. Okay. So takes a little bit longer for me because the little polka dots still um that are on here still stay on there but it's all good okay so now I could just put a little tape on these because these are no longer sticky these are oh that's not gonna stay on there so well, that was a waste of a sticky put that over there maybe I can use it for something else but this one's not staying on there either okay well, we'll just cut three of these. So, um, I'll do my best to remember my <laughs> foam for the next video because, well, oh, that came off. Look at that. Ooh. Scrapbooking heavens have said, give that girl a break. It has been a long day. All right. Well, that did not come off as easily, but that is okay. I am patient, and hopefully you all are too. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to find out how to do the whole fast-forwarding so that I can do these process videos. Like, I really like it when people talk as they go. And some of the people that I watch, and some of my favorites, do the videos, and then they do a, a, like a um, voiceover, and that's great, but I don't know. 
I like, I do like to heat, you know, but I feel like if I knew how to do that, I probably would, just so you poor people would not have to sit here and listen to me go on and on forever about things. Okay, so see, this one came out and got stuck on my finger. All right. So now that is all even, and I need, oh, here it is. I think because I want a little, oh, I don't know, let's see. I was thinking because I'd like a little pop of color, I'd use this blue instead of the yellow, but I think that's too much, so we will be consistent because the other page I use yellow as well on the tag. Oh no, I don't want you on there. Okay, so I will thread this sweet thing through here. I didn't have any thread at my scrapbooking desk, and I kept thinking, oh, I need some thread so that I can use it for this kind of thing. And then I went to Michael's, I think, and their thread was on sale, so I got some thread. And that was too short. So I will get a new piece and use that for later. Whew. Let's see. I gotta find the end of the thread. Lord have mercy. Maybe this is the scrapbooking um, people up, up above to telling me to use the blue. What do y'all think? Should I use the blue? Because I can't find the end of the yellow and I refuse to tie pull it in the middle. Oh my good grief. Nope, not there. Not there. The end of the yellow just disappeared into the abyss. Alright. I'm going to take that as a sign that we need a little pop of color on here be different it'll be fine blue's my sister's favorite color and she is the one who cooked part of this dinner mostly my brother-in-law because he's real good about that let's see did i cut that too short again it's better to cut it long here i'm going to let you all learn a lesson from my mistake it's better to look, cut it long and then trim it than it is to continue to mess up your video because you can't thread your label. I mean your tag. <laughs> ay, ay. Okay. I'm getting there. This is really not as hard as it seems. Whew. I mean, it really isn't. If you've never created one of these little tags in your label, I swear to you, it's not as hard as I just made that seem. It is not. I just put it through there. Bless. I just cut it too short the first time. And almost the second time. Alright, I want it to come down below. But it is popped up on the foam squares. I am going to use my sharper scissors. And turn this kind of at an angle. Because I don't want them exactly the same. Alright, that can go in my trash pile. Now, look at there. We're getting somewhere. Now, the only other thing I really want to do on here is I need to run. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I'm going to use these flowers to put on here. On the matching page, it's got 2021. And the two pages before that, it already says Mother's Day. So, I'm going to put this thing of flowers on here. Lockabot. I love that. And then the last thing I was going to do, let's see. I got my flowers. I got my pictures. I got my tag. I think that this is the general gist of what we want to do. I mean, I laid three pieces of paper down. I matted my pictures. I added some embellishments. I added a tag. And voila. I mean, I feel like if it weren't for my yammering and the mishap with <laughs> the foam and the yarn, this probably wouldn't have taken very long at all. Now, the only other thing that I would pr I'm probably
basically going to do is write as either spell out in letters or um, I'm trying to think. I probably have a thing. Oh, I do have exactly what I want. Oh, I'm so glad that I have I have a little spinny thing up here next to my desk. And it's got all of my go-to stickers. And I have all these little, uh oh, now I'm keep talking about it. It's not going to be here. Here it is. Nope. Nope. And nope. It's not up here. Shoot. I have these stickers. Something like, uh, y'all are going to think I'm crazy. Something like this by Stick Abilities, and it says made with love. And I would trim the made off and put it right above that. And I will either find that or I will either write, I will either find it or I will write it in, use some small um, little stickers. But I will put made with love. Because like I said, my brother-in-law did most of this and my mom made this. So that is the page. And um, I really don't think it needs anything else. So let me show you what I have earlier this year. This is my Mother's Day book. And I'm just getting started putting things in here. So I just have some old pictures. This is last year's. Oh, I already shared this on my uh, the Facebook group. So this is the first page to my Mother's Day 2021. And this is a technique that I learned from Anne Marie on scrapbookingwithannemarie.com. And so this was my first page, pictures of me and my family on Mother's Day, me and my sister with my mama. And so I wanted to match these colors a little bit, but not exactly. So I didn't have any more of that. So, my page number two that faces this is here. So it has the same dark blue. It has the purples. Um, a lot of the colors from these this paper are pulled in with the embellishments. I put the same rose gold pearls on here. And then um, I matted this picture with this uh, Grandma Nana. It has a bunch of different words for grandmother on there took a couple of this is actually the void of a frame I cut it and stuck it here and here um, this was a tutorial for yesterday's flash um, prompts from Amor the scrapbooking with amory.com and um, so this is one of the prompts that we had this design with the squares and the rectangles and so that is the matching page for this and then on the next page would be this. This is my third page to go with my Mother's Day page spread for 2021. I this all these papers except for the solid purple in the back came out of that nursery book that my sister bought me um, 12 years ago. Um, I took this um, full piece of the blue of the purple polka and lavender polka dot. And then put down this solid purple, put down the floral, and then the one with the bunnies. And look, I did not cover that bunny. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, and then this is the green polka dot that I used on the page that we just did. And I just took some of my um, Distressed Oxide and just did a splatter technique on this before I used it. Then I matted my picture on just a solid white so it would stand out. Tucked a few flowers behind there because I did not want to take away from the splatters. And then I literally took a ton of floral stickers that I have either a bunch of or that I really need to get rid of. Because like I said, I'm getting rid of my stash. And then this is that matching tag. But I just tucked a ton. And a lot of these are cut in half, so I use them here and somewhere else. Some of them are tucked all the way under. Um, some of them are um, just piecemealed. Um, I just used tons 
of stickers. Like all the stickers that are missing from these are on this layout or you just watched me put them on that layout. And I mean, I have so many floral stickers. These weren't even coming off, so I had to glue some of them down, but I'm determined to use them and not waste them. Um, I used all of those today. I did not use these big ones, but all these, some of these little smaller ones. I used all four of those. And then, what I got so happy about is I have empty one, two, three, four, five, six, and then all these little pieces. Oh, and then there's another one. I emptied all of these, and I'm now able to throw these away. So, I'm just... And I'm not on top of that and more important than all of that. I mean, yes, not but wasting my money and using my stash is great. But, I mean, in my opinion, that is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's full of color. It's full of pop. Um, I just, I love it all. I mean, it, I just love it. So, that's why I didn't want to put a ton of floral on here. Because obviously, there's plenty of floral here. It's tied in with the papers. All three of these papers are here. And then here too. This is the same set as this. This flower and the With Love came from the same... Um, oh, I didn't put one on here. Oh, because I didn't... I, there was nowhere to put it. Because it's all covered. But it is on the first two pages. So I just love how it all coordinates. I used up a ton of my stickers and I want to show you. This is part of, part of my nature stickers. Part. Okay. I mean, and uh, most of this is old. Seriously old. Like, 2000 or mid 2005, 6, 7, 8 is when a lot of this, this is new. And there's like two other things I saw in here that are new from the last of this. Other than that, the rest of this bin is old. I mean, years old. I also have a binder with more nature stuff in it. I'm just trying to use it up because I just, this is where I'd rather have it. So, I don't want to keep preaching about using your stash, but I am really encouraging people to do that. So, the only thing I actually just thought about is I do want to add, let me close my book up here and set it aside. I do add, I want to add one more thing to both these pages, and then, of course, I'm going to add the width right there. These came from Walmart. They're just self-adhesive. These are like a rose gold. And I had them on both the other pages, so I want to make that cohesive. So, I think, I'm going to see what this looks like. See over there? Oh, maybe you can't see there because I've got it too far down. I could put these little buddies right here. And it'll help cover up that dang bunny rabbit. But I'm not adding anything really extra to the page. Except this little gemstones. And then I'm going to put another set up here so it looks cohesive. And I'm not measuring. Like I said, I don't measure. I'm just sticking them on here. And sometimes when I pull these off, the sticky stays behind. Uh-oh. There he is. The sticky stays behind. So I got to glue it down, but... Oh, good. Okay, so that is good. And I am calling this done. And I will take a picture, post that on her website. And then on here, I'm going to put them. Um, let's see. I think I'm actually going to put them in pink. Because they're not going to stand out anywhere else. I don't have any more little bitties, so we're just going to use these like this, and I think that'll be fine. If somebody comes back later and says, oh my gosh, you don't have your little bitty one on there, <laughs> then I'm going to tell them that they need to 
find something more more important to worry about. Okay, so now I have those on there, and I've only got three left of these. Yay! I love using stuff up; makes me happy. All right, so there are my four pages or my three pages for the day. I'm really happy with the way they've turned out, and I love that you all want, helped me with this one. And I think that I'm going to call it a night and go watch a Hallmark movie. <laughs> so I hope you all have a great day. I'm hoping tomorrow my Disney pictures will come in. Shutterfly said they would. Uh, it's not Shutterfly's fault anymore. It is in the hands of the mail. And I know that they are super busy and behind. So I will not take it out on them. I have had this time to scrapbook these. And I have at least two more things that I want to get scrapbooked tomorrow. I'm going to show you these crazy pictures. These are from Memorial Day. This is my best friend and me. And this is my crazy cousin and my other cousins. So I think I'm going to scrapbook those tomorrow. And then, you know, I always have this stash of birthdays and work. And then I have the beach that I'll have to go back to at some point because we went for 10 years and I've just worked on it for about a month and got well over 100 pages already done so and that is all i have for tonight so i hope you all have a great day great night great everything and i hope that you got a chance to do something you love with someone you love happy scrapping